Welcome back to Cat Live, the Cat Live factory. Let's go to the factory, see what's going on this morning. Follow me, come hither. So that massive ripping sound is not my gusset being rent apart by like the Vietnamese food. No. <laughs> this is where all the infusion is taking place. So I'm gonna walk you through what's going on today. So last time you saw this, you saw this, it was all white. And this is the hard top mold. Now, what was inside it was just a protective layer to stop it getting damaged while they were transporting it and get ready for infusion. So they're obviously getting ready to start the infusion. Now, come, come forth. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera, but, because this is a negative image, you can see here where all the texturing is for the non-step surface. So look, so you've got texturing patterns here, so this will be non-step. I won't touch this, because I want it to get it, but it will obviously be washed completely. So here you can see all the non-slip. And then moving back, you can see here, obviously this is gonna be a cutout for the window. So again, this whole thing, you can see different aspects that are familiar to us from looking at the 1260. For instance, these will be the windows of the helm station. That little recess in the middle oh, yeah. is going to be where the line for the trifold door comes through. And over there, we have our friends Danny and James, and we'll be talking to both of them today to kind of get an update from the people in charge. Okay, so this one took us a while to work out what exactly these molds are. Flip them upside down, they are the inserts for the floor of the internal parts of the hulls. So if you come forward, I can show you this. This is a good way of orienting you. So that, for instance, is where the engine bed is going to be. So the engine bed goes there, and then this is aft, and then moving forward. Now, what are these guys doing? They're putting down a wax layer, and they put down wax because it stops anything from sticking to the mold. I didn't quite get this when Shane first told us, but what happens is they put wax in, they then spray gel coat in and let it set, and then they take all the gel coat out again. And why do they do that? Because if they've missed a bit, the gel coat will stick to the mold and they can easily get it out. And what Shane and James and Mike and Danny have said is, if you skip this step, what happens is you end up with a higher chance of getting the gel coat in, then getting the fiberglass down, and then finding everything won't release from the mold. If you use this step, what that means is, if you have got just a gel coat and you try and blow it out and there's a bit that's stuck, it may take you another day that by just chipping that out and then putting wax into that layer, you know that you have 100% wax coverage. And from watching this team work now for a month, you can see how much kind of effort they put into making sure that these these boats all demold first time. The thing to bear in mind is at the moment, because this factory is new to Sea Wind, they're not only building boats right now, but they're also kind of establishing the factory as a working factory so that hulls three, four, five and beyond um, can benefit from you know a really well set up factory. They're working hard, the whole team are working really, really hard and it's, it's interesting to see the process, not just you know our boat being built, but also an entire factory being set up. So I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. So hole three, things you can see now that you didn't see last time. These holes are actually bonded together. So now these, obviously they, these were all being infused the last time we saw this, they were infused, the bagging was removed, it was all checked, and then they have bonded all these together, all bolted through the moulds, and then once this is all done, they will bond on the inside and I'll show you what they're doing there. And then they will demold the whole thing. Looking forward to that, like super excited about that. Anyway, let's go over here. Last week when we came in, there was a, there, you could see a lot of welding going on and a lot of kind of like work with like uh, tubular steel. They have built in a week a crazy amount of gantry. So we now have this mad gantry to walk on. Yeah. Okay, so a whole, what have we got here? 50 meters of gantry, that's insane. They built this in a week. There was none of this here last week. Hole three, port hull, starboard hull. Just follow me this way. This is probably the only time you're gonna see this whole hull with nothing in it. And now moving over to the starboard hull, you've got the first insert that goes in. Now, when we saw this last week, it was literally upside down and getting infused. And you can see that they're just at this moment just finishing off the infusion for the bolt head. So you can actually see when you go up there, they're actually using a bagging infusion process to vacuum infuse that bulkhead into place. So that is not just 
bonded in. They're actually bagging and infusing in situ. That in itself is bloody fascinating. I, I, look, I'm pretty impressed that there's a 50 meter gantry. So we're back with Danny Sell. Apparently, as 25 people have now commented, C wins sex symbol. And who who is to deny that? Like, he is the George Clooney of Southern Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, you know, I try, I try. <laughs> now, on to more, more, more serious matters. Hole three, a lot going on there, Danny. Just fill us in on what's happened since we last saw you. Yes, yeah, so as you can see in the background, we've got the molds now. We've turned up the side holes, joined them in, leveled everything. We've done the internal taping. So we have an exterior tape, foam, and then we have the inside taping so that we get a nice uh, strong join. After that, we've got the grid to go in, which uh, form the bases of all the bulkheads and the engine beds. So they've now been dry fitted and then we're ready to put the main bulkhead in. So you must be pretty pleased with the progress? Yeah, very pleased. Yeah, everything's gone well. We're still in the process of making templates, trying to speed things up. Yep. So obviously the first couple of boats, everything takes a little bit longer, making sure that you work out a process of making jigs, templates, yep. so that everything's cut easy for the next time. All right, Danny, thank you so much once again. We'll catch up with Danny again soon. But again, just an update as to what's going on with hole threes, two and one. We'll show you some more of the factory. How you construct small parts is very similar to how you construct big parts. So recall back, start with the CAD drawings. You've got drawings of what you're building. Then you move on to the MDF skeleton. From that, you make the model. And from that, you make the plug. And so today, what we can see, just follow me through. This is one of the completed plugs for the headliner. So what we can see now, the headliner plug is finished. That's all complete. So it's in blue. The guy there is adding a wax layer so that what they will do is they will do the test gel coat to make sure that there's no patches where it's not sticking. And then we'll move over to there to where they're actually laminating it already. So in the last week, all but I think one of these headliners is complete. And if we go over there, we can see that actually they're now starting to actually build from the plugs that they made the week before. So let's head over and see what's going on over there. I am 100% biased and you'll probably be able to get like a whole montage of me over the next six months saying I'm biased, I'm biased, I'm biased, but I am. But I'm biased. But there's been a, an astounding amount of progress in the last week. So things, small parts, headliners coming over here. So this whole area is now for small part lamination. What we've got, gel coat down, tie layer down, and then move strictly over there. Once that tire layer's in, they then move to laminating. I'm gonna hazard a guess at what this is. That's some sort of track. I don't know what it is, maybe the Genoa track? Maybe it's the floor insert for the saloon? So look, tire layer. This whole process, it's literally part one, part two, part three, part four, and this is part four, A, B, C, and D. Just follow me around. You've literally got like the very processes of lamination this is all set and then they move down here and then you can see the workers like doing further levels of lamination on other inserts so we've got a whole amount of stuff going on there like a crazy amount of stuff and if you follow me through again this is simply gel coat so now gel coat goes on so this is the first part so part 4a gel coat spray then you've got a tie layer then you laminate and then when everything's set you end up with this the part that we saw over there with the tie layer, now already laminated and it's over there. So we're going to take a good look at that, yeah? And so this is the final result. What is all this? I know, I can't locate this to me. These parts look like where the windows are going to go in the hull. Ah, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah? yeah. So I think those are for the side pieces. Sea wind windows go that way, so that must be port. Yeah, those are identical. So that's hole one, hole two. That goes in the hull. So they've got basically a whole team of people like laminating like crazy so that what will happen now and i will confirm this with james once they've got holes one two and three demolded which hole three should be demolded pretty soon i actually think within next week they've then got a hot, this whole team that have got all the parts built in just to already constructed to start the construction process so pretty interesting so although boat building can be like a huge process and these holes are massive you also have smaller parts that need to be constructed in almost exactly the same way. So start with a CAD drawing, move to, in the case of the headlining inserts, a skeleton, build that in MDF, bear that off, then use that as a template, use that template to make the plugs. And then once you've got the plugs and you're happy with those, 
you then move on to actually laminating the, the headliners. And we can now see that on this over factory, we've got a whole heap of headliners, so holes one, two, and three. So there's a lot of progress going on here, but it is fascinating to show like the very intricate details of boat building that we normally would never get access to. I know that this is pretty niche and we do talk about this a lot, but firstly, even if we weren't filming for YouTube, I would want to be here just seeing how my boat was being built. We're pretty privileged that Sea Wind are giving us this access. So we're grateful for that because we get access that other people just will not get. And this is why we put it on the internet so that you can see how Things should be done. Number two, obviously like in watching all this, it gives us a really good idea of where everything is on the boat. And we did this when Ruby Rose was being built because I was always worried, where are the conduits? Where's the plumbing? And this will give us a whole repository of knowledge for the future. And not just us, the future owners, the 84 owners that wanna know exactly where that conduit is, why that's put in place, how that's bonded in. You all are gonna know this. And also other boat owners, not just Seawind, you know, whether you've got another brand of boat, you know, whether it's Uchimea, Fontaine Pajot, Lagoon, Leopard, any other brand, as well as monoholes as well you get to kind of see, well, actually that's how that's done. That's how it should be put in place. And it hopefully will give you an idea of what to look for. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Different episodes, but it's a boat build. And that's why I'm not kind of skipping across an ocean with a, a glass of like Prosecco in my hand. I am in fact sweating into my own t-shirt watching a boat build in Vietnam. But this is the life that we are lucky enough to have. So if you enjoyed that, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again soon next week. Goodbye.